Hi, I'm Flosso Haralambus and I will present my diploma thesis which was done under the guidance of Mr. Andreas Tavidis. Firstly, I would like to say that I think the creation of an ecological city based on the principles of sustainable development constitutes one of the contemporary challenges which architects and urban planners of 21st century are called to face. The aim of the study was the creation of an ecological neighborhood that will be a model for the wider urban environment and an excellent example for integrating new developments in traditional settlements. The proposal includes the creation of an ecological neighborhood which has an architectural and productive character. The suggested neighborhood has adopted elements from the analysis of the study area and these elements were adapted in a contemporary way. The urban road system in the traditional core, the typologies, and the organization of traditional buildings are design tools which were accompanied with mechanics of sustainable cities and good urban design strategies. The municipality of Otieno is considered to be a small community a thumbnail of a large situation since it can function autonomously because it's developed factors such as, such as agriculture, livestock, handcraft, trade, and industry. Here we can see some photos of the study area, the structured environment, a photovoltaic park, livestock unit, biological station, and a traditional church. In addition, there are developed public services and infrastructure and it is considered to be a ready town which could be upgraded to a sustainable city and turned into a model region. Tourists visit Athena weekly to see cultural, cultural heritage, the traditional buildings, the traditional inhabitants and the architectural activities as well. Besides that, it should be noted that the municipality of Atienu has already started to promote the sustainable development of the region. In Atienu, COE 6, traditional contemporary buildings. Thus, there is diversity in typologies, characteristics, and variety of materials depending on the year when they were built. The traditional buildings have architectural, urban planning, historical, and social values. In general, there is density of traditional buildings in village core and outwards, the traditional buildings are thinning, as we can see here. The characteristic typology of traditional architecture in Athenu is the elongated floor plan which offered by climatic benefits as it provides natural ventilation, cooling and sunlight inside when the large facade is oriented to the south. Here we can see some photos of traditional elongated uh, houses in Athenu. Initially, the, type, the typical typology of the traditional building is the elongated floor plan the flat roof and the simple facade as well. Also, the settlement is characterized many, mainly by ground floor and one-story buildings. Another important feature is the continuous construction that is adjacent, as we can see here, to the road network. Also, the inner patio surrounding by high wall. Additionally, the secondary spaces are back of the house to the inner courtyard. Access to these individual spaces of the house was outside through the central courtyard, as we can see here. The proposed program of the sustainable development of the municipality of Atienu is divided in four sectors. The field of networks includes the encourages of the use of non-model vehicles, architectural speed reduction strategies, and the creation of parking for private vehicles and charging points for electric vehicles as well. The construction sector includes 
careful control of the orientation and the typology of the proposed housing units. Also, careful arrangement of the use and thermal insulation layer. The environmental sector includes the cultivation of local food with environmental friendly methods, which is characteristic of the rural study area. Also, on the urban scale, it is proposed the creation of urban greenery, and on the built-in scale, the creation of planted roofs on the proposed housing units. Finally, the waste management sector includes the creation of more islands with recycled bins within the residential area and the sorting room for recyclable materials in each neighborhood's company. Part of the wider proposal for the sustainable upgrade of the municipality of Athenu and its tra transformation into a walkable area is the upgrade of the existing networks and the creation of new. At the first column, we can see the existing network, and here we can see the proposed network. The existing road is multi characterized by curved roads decentralized from the core. The proposed road network adapts to the existing roads follow orthogonal configuration. In village center, there are many points of multiple choices, allowing citizens to choose between many directions. This feature of the traditional village also exists in the proposed ecological neighborhood. Also, an important feature of the village is that the roads end vertically to another network, as we can see here. Feature which also exists to the proposed project. This strategy also helps to reduce vehicle speed, which reinforces the idea of friendly, for friendlier and more walkable community. An eco neighborhood was proposed: sidewalk networks, a line park, bicycle paths, and route and bus routes. This network adapts to the existing and connect the neighborhood with the wider area of Athena. The proposed project adapts elements from the analysis of the wider area and reapproaches them in a contemporary way. Specifically, the proposal manages the following architectural and organizational features. First, in Athena, the buildings are mainly ground floor or two-story and traditional buildings have a flat roof. Similarly, in the proposal, the housing units are up to a floor and they have a flat roof as well. The existing buildings have a continuous construction and continuous front parallel to the road network. Similar in eco neighborhood, the buildings create a continuous front parallel to the road network. The existing road planning shapes the typology of the corner buildings in the traditional core. For example, here, here, also here, 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 and here. Thus, in a contemporary way, the proposed follow the road system. Here, and here, and here. Also, the traditional buildings have these two typologies. See? And die. These two typologies are adapted to the proposal. Characteristics of the communities, traditional architecture, are the inter courtyards. In proposed project, the house the houses are organized around the central courtyard. Access to the buildings adjacent to the road network is through an internal pedestrian street. In Echo neighborhood, most of the units are adjacent to the road network, but where this doesn't happen, there is pedestrian walkway so the users can go to their home. The secondary rooms of the traditional buildings are located at the courtyard. This element is adapted in a proposal. The secondary spaces 
with black and the common yards and finally uh, the traditional buildings have high fence surrounding the house as we can see with black color in here however the proposal gives to the users the option to fence if they want their yard boundary with light construction or shafts. Here we can see the master plan and the perspective, perspective view of the proposed eco neighborhood. We can see the three areas with red, the three with residential development, and also um, the two axes here and here with the commercial uses in the center there is the park and the proposed cultural and public center finally with these red lines we can see the linear park and with black we can see the axis which connect the neighborhood with the public square. The complex consists of private residential units, as we can see here, that were organized around an inner courtyard. These common yards can be used for cultivation, socializing, and sports. Also, in common yards, there are the secondary spaces of the housing units. Besides that, the house don't have private parking, but there is a parking a refueling point in each, in almost each complex, as we can see here. In complex scale, we can see that the house have elongated shape along the east-west axis because it offers large area to the south. Also, the distance between the units of air natural ventilation and daylight. Besides that, the buildings, the houses have extended roof and balcony thus protecting the interiors from the overheating during summer. It is recommended to plant deciduous trees, as we can see here. On the south and west sides to ensure sun protection during summer. Also, in winter, sunlight will penetration inside and warm the house. All the houses have green roof, and thus the penetration of solar radiation inside will be reduced, and the temperature, temperature will be kept constant. It is also recommended to install thermal insulation and energy has glass to minimize energy losses and to have more thermal and acoustic comfort. Uh, here we can see some snapshots of the proposed neighborhood. For example, here is the ex expressway road where the, there is the urban greenery, a safety boundary for pedestrians, and also here there is the basic core line and here is a snapshot from the linear park these two figures are at the common yards and its primary use is the cultivation which is a significant part of the architectural area and finally in the last figure we can see the snapshot of cultivation on the planet private roofs. The character of the ecological neighborhood is based on the habits and the lifestyle of the inhabitants. The proposal respects the local character. The municipality of Vienna will be revitalized and new residential areas, working and entertainment places will be created without degrading and altering local physiognomy. And now I would like to thank you for the attention.